Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia and a new idea. Schizophrenia and a new idea. But before I get to this idea, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I swear. I swear I'm not a spring chicken. And I've been around a few preludes in my years because I'm no spring chicken. And uh, I'm telling you, this kid, this prelude, has got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a Beatles tune. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my unconquering schizophrenia. Here's my new YouTube book. Channel. As you know, it throws the cutter heart. off. Watch. That's right, that's right. Here we go. Schizophrenia. Here we go. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. Times All right, back to regular years. color. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Advancing down the jib. Say it with me. Thank you Advancing for down the jib. Channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. Therapy dogs. Is that a good idea? If you live with schizophrenia, I can imagine. I love dogs. I, I've never had a dog, but I love dogs. I think they're the greatest creatures on earth. Maybe ahead of mankind. <laughs> on par with mankind. Um, but, but therapy dogs... Um, you know, is that a good idea? I think it is a good idea. Um, if you're alone uh, and you live with schizophrenia and you're struggling, especially if you're alone, maybe you're not even alone. But you got to have time for the therapy dog. You can't get a therapy dog and leave the therapy dog home all day by itself. If you're around the house and uh, you're glum and... Uh, you have the time to spend with a, a beautiful creature, a beautiful therapy dog. Why not? I think that would be hugely helpful. Hugely helpful. It probably would diminish paranoia. Now, this is all speculation on my part. I haven't done research on it. I just came up with the idea, just thought about it. But it could be a, a tremendous help to some people with schizophrenia. I could see how it could help me reduce the paranoia, tap back into the... Uh, the love quotient, because dogs are all about love. So if you're, if you're struggling and uh, you have the time and resources and all, it's just a new idea. A therapy dog would be great for somebody with schizophrenia. It would be, it'd probably be better than meds. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say that. Meds are primary, but a therapy dog could really help the social element as well. You know what I'm talking about, like a Beatles tune. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. All right, guys. Uh, just an idea. See you next time. Thanks.